Friends, when you add saturation to a vocal instrument mix or a simple sine wave signal, you're adding whole number multiples of the original frequencies. As you know, whole numbers come in even and odd, and so do harmonics. Even order and odd order, and they sound different. You might prefer to saturate using all of the harmonics, or perhaps just the odd order harmonics. A simple real-world amplifier would produce them all, or a push-pull amplifier or tape recorder would create mostly odd order. But perhaps you might prefer to add just the even order harmonics, which isn't so much a real-world thing. Is this possible? The question is whether I can use saturation to add only even order harmonics to a signal. So I'm starting off with a 100 hertz sine wave. This is what it sounds like. OK, we don't need any more than that. Now I'm going to add some harmonics and then we're going to use the SSL X saturator. So here we go. So let's try the default settings and see what this sounds like. OK, good. We can see the fundamental at 100 hertz and there's a harmonic at 300 hertz, at 500 hertz, at 700 hertz, etc. So we're seeing and hearing the odd order harmonics. Over here we see a depth control. I'm going to set the depth to 100% because why not? And I'm going to increase the drive just a little bit by 2 decibels. So I'm going to put this all the way up to where it says third. I'm going to call this in the narration, I'm going to call this odd order because we are talking about all of the odd order harmonics. Let's listen to this. So again we can see a strong harmonic at 100 hertz. We can see 300 hertz, 500 hertz, 700 hertz, etc. What I'll do now is I'll take that down to the second or the even order harmonics and see what we get. We've got 100 hertz, we've got something there at 200 hertz, 300 hertz, something there at 400, we've got 500, 600 quite strong, 700, 800 quite strong. So what we can see here is that when we're on the odd order setting, we get the odd order harmonics. When we're on the even order setting, we get the even order harmonics and the odd order harmonics. There doesn't seem to be any way of getting the even order harmonics by themselves. Or is there? Let's see what I can do. I'll start off by duplicating the track. So, duplicate. And I'm going to rename these. I'm going to rename this one even. And I'm going to rename this one minus odd. Minus odd. Let me just uh, get my plug in. So there's the that's the top track, and if I click that little red box there, it won't go away when I select another plugin. So that's both of those. So I'll just click that, and that's clicked already. So that's fine. So what I'm going to do now is on the even track, make sure this is set to the even order harmonics, and on the minus odd track, I'm going to set this to the odd order harmonics. And where the minus comes in, I'm going to add another plugin here. I'm going to add the trim plugin. So this plugin, just put it where I can see it. This plugin is useful for trimming the level of a signal independent of the fader, but I'm just going to leave the level where it is. I'll leave the gain where it is rather, and click the phase button. So this inverts the signal on the minus odd track. So now what's happening is I'm going to subtract minus odd from even. I'll just get rid of that because I don't really need to see it. And if I play it now, this is what we get. So, as we would expect, there is some cancellation. The 100 hertz fundamental has pretty much been cancelled out. It's down by, well, it's down to the 60 decibel, minus 60 decibel mark. And here we've got the second harmonic. The third harmonic seems to have gone all together. There's the fourth, there's the fifth, there's the sixth, there's the seventh. So we have got rid of some of the odd order harmonics, if not all of them. 
I can try and get a bit better cancellation if I go to the mix screen. So I'm just going to tweak this minus odd level and see if I can get better cancellation. That's worse. And that got better, then it got worse again. So the way I'm going to position that... Ah, that's what I want. Is to get a good cancellation on the third harmonic. There's the 100 hertz, there's the 200 hertz, and in between there, where 300 hertz would be, there doesn't seem to be anything in particular there at all, and there's 400 hertz. So it's cancelled out the third harmonic pretty well, even if it's left the fifth and the seventh, etc. But we'll accept that. So now that I've got that, what I want to do is mix it in with the original signal. So what I'll do is I'll copy the even, duplicate and let's just bring it down here and I'll just rename it and call that one sign and take away that plugin because I don't need it no insert okay that's good and these two what I'll do is I'll group them so that I can easily move the faders together like that and let's start off with the faders all the way down. So I should be able to play that now and hear the clean sign. So there we go, the clean sign, and all we've got is the fundamental at 100 hertz. Now I can bring in the harmonics, the even harmonics, as I've tried to create. Here we go. Okay, I'll just put it there. That's uh, obvious, but not uh, too aggressive. Let's just check, we've got 100 hertz, 200 hertz, nothing at 300 hertz, nothing obvious anyway, and 400 hertz, a little bit at five, quite strong at six. And we can see it's weak at seven and it's strong at eight. So I haven't got entirely even order harmonics, but I've certainly emphasized the even, even order harmonics and I've lessened the extent of the third order harmonics. What I'm going to do now is uh, some comparison tests and I'm going to edit the video so it makes it a bit of a smoother process and I can match the levels so that you're hearing like for like. I'll put some captions on the screen so that you know exactly what you're listening to. And while I do it, hey, I'll keep quiet. <laughs> And there we have it. I couldn't quite manage even order only, but I got quite close. Over to you now to try it out on some real world music. See you soon.